Hey, welcome back to Sports Banner. This is Luca speaking. We're doing a bit of a UFC 264 review. You know, I did predictions, and I said we're probably going to do a review, so we're doing a review. Uh, yeah, this is just going to go down if I got some of the matches right, my thoughts on the matches, where some of these guys might, or guys or girls, go next, and that kind of stuff, and my overall enjoyment of each match in the overall show. Uh, starting was the Sean O'Malley versus Chris Martino match. Um, O'Malley dominated him, but Matinho did very, very good. I I'll say that. It was uh, TKO by punches, round three, 433 uh, was the time. Sean O'Malley won, but Matinho was able to stay alive. He was getting pounded. Apparently, Sean O'Malley might have had some sort of um, record of, like, amount of strikes landed or something like that. I'm not sure, but... Sean was just composed. He got hit a few times, but he was very composed and just kept on pounding uh, Chris Matinho. But he did not go down. He kept on staying up. And honestly, I think he could have stayed up for the rest of the match. But he, it got to the point where he couldn't defend himself. And as a referee, you gotta stay. You gotta step in the way and protect the fighter. You can't let him just keep getting clobbered. Um, but major respect to Chris for not giving up. Sean O'Malley. Just a really good performance from him, and overall, an awesome match. So, yeah. Uh, next is the cat catchweight bout, bout between uh, Aldana and Kunsakaya, and Aldana won. She uh, won in round one, 435 left on time, and it was TKO, TKO via punches. This match was just all right to me. Um, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be pretty boring, and they didn't do too much. A couple of clinches in the start, and then it started going... Um, just not too much to write home on this match. It wasn't bad. I don't know what Aldana will do next, um, given this is a catchweight fight. So this is sort of, it, it. I mean, she gets a win, but also she didn't make weight. So I don't really know where she goes. But back to Sean O'Malley right quick. I think he goes against better competition next. I'm not sure who's on his horizon. Hopefully a top, one of the top higher ranked guys in bantamweight because he's been going against a couple of bums, I'm not going to lie. And I thought going into this, Matino was going to be a bum, but he has surprised me. So maybe the competition's better than I think it is in the bantamweight division. But Sean O'Malley should be aiming to go against a top 10 uh, contender right now. Anyways, moving on to the heavyweight match between Ty uh, Tuvsev versus Greg Hardy. Um, and Ty got the win, round one, 107 in the time. It was a KO via punches. Ty just hit a really nice, I think it was with his right hand, just straight right in Greg's face. It was like to the side, and Greg's body just dropped. Um, yeah, good performance from Ty right there, because he almost looked like he was about to go down, but I think Greg Hardy's not that good, so he sh Ty should have won, and so far throughout the pay-per-view, I was three for three on my predictions, I've had all these right, um, I don't really know what Ty will do next, maybe go against a better competition, because he, com competitor, he might be able to do it, who knows, I'm not 100% sold on him yet, but I do love his, um, drinking alcohol out of the shoe celebration, it's really funny, he did it like three, sorry, <coughs> Almost died. He did it like three different times after the match. It was it was really funny. Anyways, next to the co-main event, Gilbert Burns defeated Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Oh my gosh, I was so wrong. Now I hate myself for this one too, because I, I as all know, I voted uh, Wonderboy to win. I literally said in the preview, "Oh, Gilbert Burns is really good. He's probably the better fighter." But I'm still gonna go with Thompson. Uh, I should have stuck with Burns. Uh, Burns gets the job done. It was um, it went to decision, but it was 29-28 on every scorecard, and rightly so. Gilbert Burns won that match. He had a lot of ground uh, ground control. Um, he just overall looked better. Wonder Boy had a few good punches on, and I think if it was a five round match, it, I think that's more on Steven's side. But given it was three rounds, couldn't get the job done. Went to decision. Gilbert Burns deserved that win. Burns might. I don't know what Burns is going to do next. Um, I think Colby Covington's going to get the title match against um, Usman. Burns might have to go against whoever's ranked third. I, I can't remember who's ranked third. I know. I just know Colby Covington's ranked first. So it'll be interesting, but I won't be surprised if we see Burns going for the title early next year. It'll be a little. Might be a rematch against Usman, or it might be someone else. But yeah, that's the one match I predicted wrong. I don't really know what Stephen Thompson's going to do. He, um, 
I don't know. He's 38 now. So, honestly, he might he might have one more match and then retires. Who knows? But I mean, he's had a he's had a really interesting career. Um to some stupid losses really screwed him over, but it's whatever. That's all in the past. I'm not like a huge fan of him. I'm not heartbroken. But anyways, so I don't I don't know what he's going to do. He might retire, who knows. Anyways, moving on to the main event, Dustin Poirier versus Conor McGregor, and I got this one right, ladies and gentlemen. Four for five on the overall main card. I'm happy about that. It was a TKO via doctor stoppage, round one, five minutes. So it was pretty much the final set, like the round ended, and then the doctors realized Conor's foot was screwed up. He broke his ankle trying to back away from a Dustin punch. Uh, He was trying to recover himself, and he screwed up his foot. How he did that, I have no idea. Before the injury, though, because a lot of Connor fanboys are giving tons of crap to Poirier, and I don't think Poirier deserves the crap. And I, and a lot of Poirier fanboys, or not even Poirier fanboys, just people that hate Connor are giving Connor a bunch of crap. I'll sort of give my opinion coming from someone that's in the middle. I like both guys. I just chose Dustin to win because I just had a feeling Dustin was going to win. I, he looks good in the January fight. I think he was going to look good now. And guess what? I was right. The fight was it was very even. Connor was coming out with those kicks. We all saw that. Um, Dustin was good to dodge them or check them pretty well. Um, but I think he was already in some pain. Dustin Poirier's punches were so good. When Connor got on the ground and he tried to do a takedown or whatever or shot, which he said he didn't want to do or something. I, I don't know. He was Connor pretty much won against every single thing they said that shouldn't happen in a fight or some crap like that. But it's because he panicked and he because he got in a position he did not want to get in. And it's hard to get out of those things. So I understand. Um, so Connor tries to do a guillotine on Dustin. It was a really good guillotine in my opinion. I think it was I think it was a lot closer to being a tap out than what people think. But Poirier is a very smart. It, that's why I kept on saying to my friends I was watching this with Poirier is just a smart fighter. He was the smarter man in this match. He was able to get out of the guillotine, laying some really nice blows on McGregor. I thought it was going to get called for a second because it looks like McGregor was not defending at all. But McGregor was still conscious, and it. There was some ground, good ground control time from Connor. He had the submission. He had a couple of good punches in on Dustin too. So into the round, it could go either way. But Connor screws up his foot, so Dustin wins the match. This is a win for Dustin. This is by UFC rules a win. So, but there's tons of people saying, "Oh no, Poirier didn't win anything. McGregor's injured." I'm sorry, that's how it goes. That's, that's the rules. That's hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. So, it's a win on Dustin's record. It's a loss on McGregor's law, a record. Um, do I want to see a fourth match in this? No, I don't. I don't care. I didn't even want to see a third match. I didn't even want to see a second match. I didn't really care about these two going against each other. Um, it's cool that Poirier gets a couple more wins in his uh, career. It's good for him. McGregor is hurting his career a lot. I don't know what he'll do. It depends how long the recovery time is for his ankle. Is he going to retire or is he going to have one more match? Someone like him obviously doesn't want to go out losing, but at this point, is it worth it? I don't know. It's just I would want to be able to walk again because say you get the ankle fixed, you get back for your next match, and then you get screwed up again. Like, I don't know. It, it's just rough, and it's got to be really frustrating to be him. But the I didn't hear the post-match interviews that well. Apparently Dustin said a couple of things that he may have not should have said. I don't know. Then again... If it was the other way around, say Dustin got injured and Connor won, it's not like Connor was going to be a nice guy on the mic. He would have been like, "Yeah, I won. Screw it. Screw you." Like he wasn't. He wasn't going to be like, "Dustin, you're a great fighter." Like, no, nah, he was not going to do that. So, Dust. So that's whatever to me. And I heard some of the things Connor was saying when he was on the ground with Joe Rogan. He was like, "If we were in a alleyway or something like that, your wife's in my DMs." Connor can't let th- some things go, I guess. And that's fine. It's fighting at the end of the day. This is, like, the most personal thing in sports. So, yeah, this was a good ma- It was a good match for what it was. Uh, this was going to be the main ta- talking point. Most most uh, main events are, but this one's just different because of the injury. But, yeah, I enjoyed the match personally for what it was. Sucked it had to end like that. But for my little rewards, I'm going to do what UFC does. My match of the night. 
is the same one that the UFC said, Sean O'Malley versus uh, Chris Martino. Yeah, this was just a really fun match to watch. Um, and it was it, it could have gone either way. A little, uh, some of the moments of it, and it was, both men showed their um, good characteristics they each have. So this was the the best match of the night, in my opinion. And then performance of the night, I'm not really sure. Performance of the night is harder to pin down. I need to watch like the prelims and early prelims to really get a good performance. Um, because not all these guys stood out. Like Dustin had a good match, but it's not like it was. It's not like he knocked him out in the first five seconds. Uh, he got like it's not like he was perfect. Gilbert Burns had a good match, but it's not like he was perfect. Aldana, I would probably give it to her, but she was she missed weight. I don't want to give it to her because of that. O'Malley was very good, but I think I have to give it to Ty. Ty. Ty's punch was really nice, and he didn't take too much damage. So I think I'd give it to him. I know the UFC did too. If it wasn't him, I'd probably say Sean O'Malley. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. Pretty solid pay per view overall. Um, if I had to rank it, I'd probably say it's like a eight out of ten. Probably top five so far for this year. But yeah, uh, we can do more of the best pay per views like at the end of the year. But yeah, this one wasn't bad. We'll see how things go. Poirier is going to get a title shot against Oliveira. He has to. And then McGregor is either going to come back and try to get another fight against Poirier. Or he might go against, I don't know, maybe Michael Chandler, Justin Gaethje, one of those two. We'll, we'll see. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video, and see y'all later. Let me know if y'all liked the pay-per-view. Yeah, bye. Like, comment, subscribe, of course.